Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Reviews for today. So starting off with Euro USD as normal, and uh, some very interesting developments here. So the first one is you can see we have a low, and then we have a lower low on price. But look at my oscillators. Oscillators is a low and a higher low with a crossover. That is confirmation of diversions at the moment. So um, that's on the oscillator. For price action, I need to start seeing higher highs before uh, that those diversions are validated. So at the moment, it is looking like uh, these are the two lines in the sand that are drawn, and that's 118,460, and then this one just needs to come down a little bit. Actually, sorry, no, I must stay up there. So I'm looking for the swing low here, and um, we're looking for a break of 118,781 to the upside. So it is uh, Independence Day in the US, so uh, public holiday at the moment. Uh, New York Stock Exchange is closed, so volumes are going to be thin. But uh, that's kind of the structure that we're seeing. We are on a downward trend, but uh, you know, what I'm seeing is, is fairly interesting. Uh, big diversions on the bigger time frames. The lower time frames, you can see another move down. So you're looking for support to be found, and if it gets found somewhere in this zone, that's kind of the, the buying area, and you can see that's the middle of these two areas here. So that's what I'd be watching for, but not looking to trade today. Um, US dollar, Japanese yen. So uh, nice strong pullback into onto structure. Now this is a little bit different, looking for an opportunity to buy in here, go with a bigger trend, and uh, which is a little bit different to the Euro USD setup that uh, is brewing. So same thing here. I do have a bit of a gap this morning, but... Uh, 110,992 is where we need to find support. And uh, this consolidation area, probably gonna play a role today, you probably find us muck around there. So uh, another one worth watching, because uh, on the higher time frame, the trend is up, no reason to get out of it, looking for opportunity to buy. And on the lower time frame, looking like we're trying to set up some kind of a, a top. So um, those are the two levels that I'm paying attention to. Actually, this one can come up to there. So it's uh, 111,152 to the upside and 110,992 to the downside. Uh, British pound, Japanese yen, big triangle, slap bang in amongst a whole lot of uh, pretty strong levels. So pay attention to what we see on the hour. And you can see we had a rejection on the hour, uh, which was uh, on Friday. And then a move to the downside. We are below the moving averages. Well, the, not all of them, just the 155. So London breakout was a trade to the downside. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you draw that like that, you'll see where your target areas are. First bit of buying was at 61.8. Second was at the range, and we fell just short of the 261 extension. But if you look to the left, you'll see what we were aiming for. that area there. Anyway, uh, for me, probably the same thing today, but I don't think you're going to get any really decent trades with uh, half the world not trading today. So um, me, I'm just going to sit on the sidelines here. So at the moment, we are sideways, and it does look like we are flirting with the point of the triangle. So we can still drop to the bottom of the triangle here, and then just keep moving up and down until we get a move tomorrow. So um, yeah, sit on hands at the moment for this one as well. Euro, British pound, and uh, you can see we've had a pretty strong rejection off the 155 as normal. Every time we get there, we get we sell off, we sell off, and uh, same things happened. So to the downside, 085685 needs to go. To the upside, need to find some support above 086. And if we get down to the hour, you'll see pretty much range trading at the moment. So those are the levels that we'd be paying attention to. I'm not interested in trading ranges, so uh, we will sit on the sides and uh, wait for a trend to form. Anyway, that is it for me today. Um, probably gonna observe Independence Day with, the, with you guys in the USA. Uh, happy Independence Day, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.